Hello, Cancerians. Someone rising in Venus. Welcome to your reading. Sending you so much love and light. Let's tap into your energy right now, Cancer. Someone rising in Venus. What does Cancer need to know? Please shuffle the deck. Eight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. And the lovers. Okay. Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn. Virgo energy. This is somebody who wants to work on this connection with you. I saw the Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Give me an energy for Cancer, someone rising in Venus. Look at this person. Look at this devil energy showing. So I channeled Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This person's feeling um, heartbroken. Can we say that? Three of Swords. Something here happened, a repeated pattern here happened with this energy resulting in heartbreak again or disappointment. Okay, it doesn't have to be heartbreak, but disappointment. Look at, look at who's disappointed here, the Queen of Cups. Heartbroken. There's heartbreak. There's disappointment because of somebody's addictions, codependencies. I mean, this, this has been the message for cancer. Now, this person doesn't have to have... Um, any type of, I mean, this could be a workaholic. This is somebody who, who works too much, who's focused um, on the material, on money. This is somebody who I feel this person feels haunted. You know, if you see this energy feels feels like they're being, they're being manipulated. You might have felt manipulated by this energy. There's something here that this person doesn't, doesn't seem to be able to let go of. This is devil energy, Capricorn. Talks about money, taxes, obsessions, sexual desires. We have the Queen of Cups, which is you, Cancer, and this Three of Swords in the center between you and this Saturn energy. Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Emperor, masculine energy. This person is going to make a decision here to come in and give to this connection with you. Didn't I channel when I began the reading? There's somebody here. I saw the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a Capricorn, wanting to work on a connection with you. And I think that was a message that I channeled. Okay, it could be a Virgo. I'm seeing the Hermit energy now. Or an Aries. These are two major arcanas. Very strong masculine. You guys know I see the Emperor as a Hermit who retrieves to gather or seek wisdom or sense of enlightenment this person keeps on pulling on your energy through your source disappointment because somebody here they want to give to you now i can say that to you now cancer they want to give to you now there's something that they couldn't say before they'll be able to say to you now i'm seeing a masculine that could have been running from this connection the runner now wanting to come and invest with the Seven of Pentacles. Or maybe perhaps they were investing in other energies. This person might have been giving to something else. Because we have Five of Wands and Three of Cups. This is other people. Other people. Um, this person is in a state of evaluation about what they've invested in. The seeds that they've invested in with other people, other parties. Which I feel like have resulted in conflict and arguments they're seeing and now this may be something to do with finance finances or money or commitment there's a cancerian here that is this person didn't think that you were going to be able to walk away from them they didn't think that you were going to be able to walk away two of wands is decisive action to give to something else are you making a decision to give to something else Cancer, because you're looking away from this person. This is a masculine who's in solitude. Knight of Swords. This could be a message coming through, but this is somebody who runs, who runs away from things, who invests in other situations that turn turn out to be karmic. This is karmic. This is karmic here with this devil energy. Look at the seven of wands. You protecting yourself from this person. It's like, I'm, I need to protect my peace. There's a need here to protect your inner peace. I think that this showed yesterday and I said it. I said it. This is you. There's a strong feminine energy who's protecting her space from someone. 
placing boundaries. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. You have a connection with this energy. There's a contract here with this person. Six of Wands. The Queen of Wands. With the Four of Cups. Someone thought they were going to have a victory. And this resulted in unrequited or disappointment. I feel like there could be a fire sign that thought perhaps a third party that they were going to have a victory with the Six of Wands. And instead, this turned out to be a disappointment. Four of Cups. Ace of Cups, there's a wish about a new beginning or coming together, a reconciliation, Ace of Wands. Someone wants to work with a divine feminine who, whom they, whom which they abandoned. Someone has abandoned a divine feminine here. They want to, I feel like this person may want to give you recognition now. Let's see. Eight of Wands is communication, I'm seeing. Let's clarify for you, Cancer. I'm seeing you here protecting your energy. Seven of Wands. Let's get into the tarot. I'm seeing a King of Cups. This could be you or this could be the person whom you are connected to. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So let's clarify this devil and the Page of Wands. A message coming in from this energy. There is communication. There is a message coming through good news. There's good news coming in either from a water sign. Yeah, Pisces or Cancer. And again, this, this is you. This is you, your intuition. This is a secret. Very strong Pisces energy with this hangman. Someone's viewing you intuitive or psychic. Seven of Pentacles looking back. This energy is looking back at what they've invested in. And there's that communication that I see. Eight of Wands. What is this devil energy? They're calling. This is why they're pulling on your energy. Because this person... This person feels feels like something here backfired for them. Four of Cups again, unrequited. There's an unrequited situation. Somebody, somebody here thought they were going to have a win somewhere else. And in fact, this has backfired for them. Because I don't feel like you want to give to this anymore. However, they do. Or someone wants to give to the connection. That is how I channeled the reading when I began. There's somebody here who wants to work on a connection with you. And I saw the King of Pentacles. Look, something here backfire with other people. Meaning uh, this person, it's, it's, not, it's not fulfilled, emotionally fulfilled with what it is that is being presented to them. There's a sense of unrequited love situation. Missed opportunity because of other people. A missed opportunity with cancer because of other people's repressed emotions, fears and anxieties with this moon. Okay, and walking away, departure. This is Cancer in departure. This is Cancer here walking away, departing. I have been channeling this Eight of Cups energy for you, um, I, I, I think for the last week or so. This, this purge, release. Look at that moon in the background. And there's a the sun wanting to show. You know, when I see the sun and then I see the moon, I think of instantly, I think of eclipse. We have a solar eclipse in April, coming up in April. And then there's a lunar eclipse that is happening on the 25th with a full moon in Libra. So clarify this devil here for cancer. This is why there's disappointment because of this devil. Yeah, karma. Look, and the queen of wands. Don't tell me no. Queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this devil, this is a karmic situation that is coming into balance. Look, there might have been a choice here. I said someone wants to work on this connection with you. Two of Wands and the Lovers is a person who could be in between two things, in between two paths. There, there could be a choice here between Lovers. And there's third party energy because I'm seeing this Three of Swords and that Queen of Wands continues to show. You're showing up here as the Queen of Cups, Cancer. And there's something here coming into balance for you. The scales in the tarot, the scales are in the six of pentacles. And, and we have the justice energy here. Number 11, number 11 may resonate for you. There's something here that is coming into balance for you. More importantly, a decision that is being made. Perhaps by this fire sign, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Making a decision, Two of Wands. There's competition here, Three of Swords, Taurus Energy, Hierophant. There's a masculine here who is gaining higher guidance, who, who is being guided right now. Okay, confirmation. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, looking back. Looking back, Gemini and Virgo. 
with this magician, they're definitely looking back. Seven of Swords, looking over their shoulder at a lie they told. Deception, that deception, that is the devil. That is the devil. And this is now being made right for you, being made just for you. This this heartache and disappointment that happened to, because of this, this, this situation, karmic situation, I should say. Okay, it's going to be made right for you. That is what this is. The justice has been showing for cancer. Nine of Cups, inner happiness. Inner happiness for you. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, the Chariot. Ten of Cups. Who's up? Yeah, the cup is being offered to you. The cup is being offered to you. And I saw the Ten of Cups, which is a coming together here. There could be travels, but this is movement. Someone's breaking free out of this Eight of Swords and coming into a fulfillment, an emotional fulfillment. We saw the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. A lot of you are going from single to coming into union here with somebody. I don't know if this is the person here from somebody's pulling on your energy. That is that is what I then and that what I'm channeling whenever I look at this devil energy. They're pulling on your energy. Three of Swords. Why is, look? They're pulling on your energy. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. Seven of Swords with this devil. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's like are we here we go again. It's a I have a I'm channeling a person here who's done this who's done this before. Who's done this before? I don't know if they, if it's a lie they told or if it's a third party situation situ you know yeah yeah you're walking away eight of cups don't tell me no that is why we have this three of swords here eight of wands communication i don't i don't know what's coming at you but there's something here coming your way with the eight of wands what is this three of swords for cancer what does cancer need to know for this three of swords why is this three of swords here? There it is. We have, there's a message here from this past life soulmate, Cancer, Six of Cups. They're coming in towards you with a message, a truth, perhaps, a decision being made. Uh, balance, more importantly. This is karmic. This is a karmic and this is a lesson. This is a karmic lesson that someone has learned. If this is you, you've learned a karmic lesson about this person from your past. Look at them here, Knight of Wands. I'm in one day, I'm out the next. Sagittarius energy. I feel like you don't care anymore. Can I just say that? I feel like you don't care. Or you will you you will not be caring very soon. <laughs> because spirit is making things here um, right for you. Yeah, that is why we have the seven of wands. I don't know if you're coming into a new connection. Which is going to bring in success and happiness for you. That Queen of Wands that I see here um, with this Four of Cups situation, unrequited love situation. I mean, you could have fire in your chart, also Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I see a new, a new connection starting after a missed opportunity. This is a wish fulfillment. Okay, this is a wish fulfillment. Aquarius energy with this Ace of Cups. I know you guys see that. This Four of Cups is discontentment and... A missed opportunity, an unrequited love situation. Seven of seven, I was going to say seven of swords. Seven of wands. You are protecting yourself from a seven of swords. A person that, that operates in the Saturn devilish energy. Knight of wands energy, if you know what I mean. So things are now coming, be, being made right for you. I see a mask. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but if you pay attention, there's a masculine here wearing a hoodie looking down. Very tormented, extremely... Um, haunted here by karma. Can we say that? Karma, the justice. Three of Swords, the Queen of Cups. There's karma for this Queen of Cups. There's somebody here reminiscing about you. There's two people here. And actually, no, there's three. There's three and there's somebody here in the background walking away. There's an energy in the Six of Cups that walks away. This is a lesson that is being learned now with this Page of Pentacles. Yeah, and Aquarius, Wish Fulfillment, Age of Aquarius. It's a yes. It is a yes from the universe. I saw the star card in here with the Ace of Cups. I'm going to show this to you, Cancer. The star energy with the Ace of Cups, something you have wanted. Page of Swords and the Four of Wands. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands, something new. Something new, a Divine Feminine here is starting 
um, let's clarify the six of pentacles. See, this is why we're seeing the star energy because now we're moving towards what, what you are in fact risking. I don't know why I just channel risking. You're going to, there's somebody that's going to risk something, take action towards a, I just heard liberation, liberation to travel. See in this Volkswagen, um, this Volkswagen in this, this card. I don't know why that's calling my attention. This is, there's a rebirth here. There's a rebirth and there's going to be a conversation. I just saw the queen of swords with the king of swords. Yeah. King of swords there. This conversation may lead into an argument, but I, I do see communication. Are you telling somebody the truth or there's a conversation and you standing firm on some, on a decision you've made a decision that you have made? Yeah. You could, and you have made a decision here to a source or somebody will be, will be making a decision after some time of indecisiveness. There's the moon again and then and water. Um, some of you ha are protecting yourself from this energy with this two of swords. Some of you are protecting yourself from this person or th there's something, there's a something about a decision with this two of swords that you are making or this person is making about you and it's successful. It is for victory, Six of Wands. I'm clarifying the Six of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, the worst is over. Three of Pentacles. There's that communication manifestation that I see coming towards you. And the Lovers is showing. If you have been discontent recently, disappointed, if somebody disappointed you here recently, if you felt that, that you had a missed opportunity with an energy from the past, um... I feel like that that is all going to be made right for you. Um, if you felt like you were lacking in some way or disappointed. I have Virgo here, the hermit. This is somebody who's thinking about this situation with you. They're thinking about the situation with you. They're the ones that are communicating with you. Yeah, and I see an argument. I see this communication leading towards a... If it's not an argument, it's competition or... A situation here. Cancer is gaining victory because there's a completion here. Karmic completion. Ten of Swords. With a new beginning that is happening. And this is why I'm anticipating. I'm about to clarify the Six of Pentacles. Because I feel like that is what is coming in for you. And a new beginning. But it's also a balanced energy of giving and receiving. I give, you give. Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles? What What is the Six of Pentacles? I shouldn't ask why. <laughs> you may ask yourself why. Um, why this person is giving to me now? Or why, why is this? Uh, let's see. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Cancer? New beginning. Liberation. Didn't I channel liberation? There's a sun energy. The fool is a, it's a zero. It's, it's, it's starting afresh. It's starting from, it's starting, it's starting afresh. Four of Pentacles and the Judgment. This is an energy that wouldn't give to you in the past. This is somebody here from your past now coming back to give to you now. Okay. The, the Six of Cups and the Judgment was in, uh, were in yesterday's reading with the Fool. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a, could be a Libra or I just channel Sagittarius. This person is coming in to communicate to you or they're cutting out the competition. Or they're cutting out the competition or making a decision about these karmic energies around them that have been keeping them in this Nine of Swords energy. And they will be apologizing to you. This person will be apologizing to you. Three of Wands, this is what's coming at you. This Three of Wands, it's your ships coming in. Three, nine of Swords, this person can, there's something you said to this, there's something they did. I feel like this person did something here now recently, okay, where somebody was could have been foolish as well. They feel like they might have been a little bit too impulsive. But we have the judgment with this four of pentacles. Now I'm coming in to give to this queen of cups. The judgment is making a judgment call. This is somebody who's making a judgment call. This is a blast from the past. Six of cups and the judgment were in yesterday's reading. Answering the call. That is what the judgment is. So there's a calling that this person here is answering to. They could be holding on or holding on to their mind. There's something monetary here coming in to give to you because of karma. There's a sense of, I don't know, help. With the Six of Pentacles, somebody's coming in to help you because there's karma here. The judgment, justice, and the devil is karmic. Okay, it is it is karmic. Three of Swords. You are liberating yourself from this. 
um, if this is a new cancer, your, your person's walking away from, from a third party, but I feel like there's a, there's somebody here who's liberating themselves from pain. We have this three of swords. There's a lesson here that has been learned about this with a page of pentacles. This is someone from your past year. I don't know who this person is. Could be at a distance, could be a Leo. This energy could have Leo in their charge. Three of wands, past life soulmates. This is somebody who's returning and they're coming in, not empty handed. They're not coming in empty handed. That is what I'm hearing. We have the two of wands, three of wands. They're, they're, this is arriving. This is coming. This is coming. This person may be waiting here. Yeah, they, they, there's something here that needs to be made right because someone has gained new perception about a situation. Pisces energy. Yeah, they've gained new perception about this connection between you and them. Gemini energy. Or viewing about something about a choice between lovers here differently. There's that sun energy. Five of cups. I have regrets. This person looks back. Think, is thinking back about the past. Could be a Leo very strongly. Or a Pisces. Something that's being revealed to this energy now. About this connection. You see this hangman looking at this, the lovers with his five of cups and the sun energy. Ah, oh, the sun and the stars. <laughs> the sun and the stars. Aquarius and Leo. And the Queen of Swords. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So you're going to be analyzing here. Um, what are you going to be analyzing? A rebirth of somebody? A transformation from somebody? So this is not only a wish fulfillment, but it's also it's it's something you've wanted. Now within a, with somebody that you have a soul, a soul connection with, a soul tie connection to. So someone from your past with the five of cups, this hangman is, is viewing this connection differently. There's that three spilled cups here. The two of cups are behind this person. It's interesting is here. This two of cups. I feel like you, um, you have ignited somebody to, to look within. Okay. Or you may, perhaps you're the catalyst for this person here to change Scorpio energy. And the four of swords, yeah, to heal, to heal or take um or reflect on something. Look, this is the queen of swords. This is you, Cancer, telling somebody the truth. You may have air in your chart, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the four of swords, king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Taurus. So I, I said it. There's somebody who's gathering a sense of guidance or higher guidance or awakening, spiritually awakening or wanting to do things here now traditionally. Who knows? Two of wands. What is this two of wands? Inspire risk here, this action that somebody here is taking. What is this two of wands here for cancer? This may be you, cancer, just looking, deciding to look elsewhere. I don't know. King of wands. No, it's this person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're coming at you. Eight of wands. This person is communicating with you, I should say. Okay, I don't, I don't want to make anyone concerned. They're coming at you. They're communicating with you. These are messages. This is Mercury. It's not Mercury energy, is it? Eight of wands? No. It is communication. There's water here. So there may be emotions also as well with this, you know, it is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus, Libra. This is a divine feminine communication that is coming to a divine feminine. You guys know I view, look at this, six of pentacles. I view Cancer as the empress because Cancer is the mother in the zodiac. It's a motherly figure. Um, there's a six of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody's coming. There's monetary. There's something here that is being either manifested or communication that is coming in very quickly, very fast. This is incoming fast. It could be an, a fast incoming change. I see it as communication. It is communication. We have this fire sign here who also, who's all fired up to take action, to come in and give money to you. Well, that's wonderful. Ten of pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, six of six of Swords. This person could be traveling. This is you now. Seven of Wands. This person, or you feel like they 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 need to defend them. Six Six of Swords is traveling, moving on from a conflict, right to calmer waters. To the Seven of Wands, like a, a need to overcome a situation. Ace of Swords. See a need to overcome conflict. 
King of Swords, I channel Ace of Swords. So that is communication. Yeah, that, that is communication. This person has a need here to overcome a conflict with you. And perhaps they have, there's a new cycle here for you with the world and the Nine of Cups. There could be travels as well. Wow. Six of Cups and the Judgment again. Let's get one of these to, for the reading cancer. I don't know what I need to clarify here. I just, let's just go along with it. There's something here you're standing firm about. And there's certainly communication. That Six of Pentacles, I said there's something coming into balance here for you with somebody whom you have a lot of chemistry with. The attraction you feel is mutual. Intuition. Listen to your intuition right now. You already know the answers you seek because you've mastered a lesson you or this person you've learned a spiritual lesson this judgment has to do with this spiritual lesson that somebody has mastered and look we have second chance this relationship deserves a second chance abundance abundance give me one second cancer give me one more energy for cancer boundaries that is the seven of wands that is the seven of wands. I want to clarify this judgment. Look, this judgment is what's coming your way. Three of wands. I continue to see this three of wands. There's something here about good news. Good news that's coming in. Suddenly, page of wands. I'm seeing the eight of swords. Somebody continues to think about this or this communication. Let me look at the... Okay, I want to show you guys these cards. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's better. Six of cups. Okay, I have Sagittarius, Temperance, so wanting to heal. This judgment is somebody that may want it. This is a reconciliation with somebody who's returning. Clarify this judgment for Cancer. Thank you. Oh, Cancer. The Seven of Swords just showed in the reverse, and it moved the devil energy. It moved the, it moved the devil card. Look at the Seven of Wands here. Protect your energy. You have been, you are protected. I just got chills. So confirmation. Look at the Seven of Wands here showing for you protect your energy this seven of source came out of the deck in the reverse it moved the devil <laughs> it moved the devil card oh there's conf oh nine of pentacles somebody's single here three of wands you feel confident there's somebody here in heartbreak or three of swords or contemplating a new beginning there's that communication from this past life person who wants to reconcile with you and heal a situation look at the temperance here with this five of cups i was just showing the temperance five of cups five of cups is somebody who, who the past mourning the past eight of wands and the chariot is something coming in very fast very fast ace of cups virgo energy hermit and the ace of cups take the message how it resonates i'm clarifying this judgment okay which is karmic and this card was moved by the Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords, which came out in the reverse. I have, I don't know what's behind the Seven of Swords. I will look at it now. That is what this judgment is. This judgment is karma for this devil energy. Somebody is learning the lesson because Saturn is all about structure. It's all about Saturn is the father. Interesting. I'm, I was speaking about cancer being the mother of the Zodiac. Capricorn is considered the father of the Zodiac because it is Saturn energy. It is all about structured and, and boundaries and placing boundaries um, with things that it, it talks about obsession. So there's the boundary here placed because of an obsession or codependency. Firm boundaries are needed now. I'm here speaking like a lunatic. It's right here. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. And that is why the seven of swords is showing in the reverse. You guys know I normally don't read reversals, but that is showing in the reverse. And this is no longer being deceived with the wheel of fortune in the reverse. This person's not, um, I feel like this is, this is somebody whom you are connected to. With this wheel of fortune in the reverse, this is not, this is not great for the, for whoever this person is because the wheel of fortune is about karmic cycles but in the reverse is something here backfiring for somebody and you know it's no coincidence why we have the justice energy and the seven of swords now showing in the reverse is somebody who deceived somebody who could have deceived themselves i think i channeled in the most recent reading there's a feeling of self-delusion there's a sense of self-delusion this wheel of fortune and things backfiring for somebody meaning not turning out in their favor 
there's a there could be a loss of money here as well someone could have a gambling addiction as well with this wheel of fortune and this devil and the seven of swords and there's a lesson here there is a lesson somebody has mastered a spiritual lesson in the the process of this this per person probably dragged you in the midst of the situation um creating this this heartache for you creating this heartache for you there's something to do with money six of pentacles the four of pentacles you see this is the miser in the tarot and that is why we have this karma whatever this energy was giving to before and this is why we could i, I kept seeing the seven of pentacles someone taking accounts into what they've invested in their investments four of pentacles someone could be holding on to their money for the life of them holding on very tightly to their money now interesting that this is happening because i see somebody that now it's coming in to give to you it's like that they're hold, they were they could have been holding back or holding holding on to their money now coming in to give to you and maybe that that could be their karma that could be their karma. This Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Swords in the reverse is somebody that is definitely learning here the karmic lesson. Because we have the, the justice energy here as well. Wow, I did not expect that. I was looking at this judgment. I said, let me clarify it before I close out the reading. Just so that I can give you guys a more precise, direct, channeled message here for you. Seven of Wands. You're in this Nine of pentacles energy confident i feel i see cancer here very confident and somebody here who three of swords and this hermit heartbroken heartbroken this person didn't think that you were going to go ahead and move on regardless or maybe perhaps they didn't think that you were going to make a decision to take action towards something different or feel like you've placed boundaries with somebody and that is that is what's creating a shift here that is what's creating a shift here i'm also going to say with this wheel of fortune in the reverse the tables are have now turned in your favor okay or they they will be you like channel if somebody here did something wrong wrong to you things are going to come into balance and they're going to be be made right for you and just for you you are protected So that is what I'm going to have um, for the reading. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, I just got chills, Cancer. Divinely protected. Look, I said I, this is what I have for the reading. I was going to close out the reading and I was going to get one card from this deck. Um, you are divinely protected. Seven of Wands. <laughs> Look a little strange. Seven of Wands. But it's on both sides. I am protected. Divinely protected. Incoming news, text or call. Let me get one more. Leo is showing. Let me get one more energy to end the reading. That is quite auspicious, and it moved the devil card. It just it moved it, moved it. So there's movement here, but certainly certainly a setback for somebody. Okay, so certainly a setback for somebody. We have this fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very strong twin flame journey. Yeah, this is a twin flame. We have so many here. Six of Cups and the Judgment. Second chance apology. We saw that earlier. This person made a made a mistake. Somebody made a mistake. They made a mistake, and this is the judgment here. Somebody underestimated you also. It could be a Pisces. I just got confirmation chills. Somebody underestimated you. The tables now have turned for you, or they will be. Look, Capricorn. That is how we started the reading, so somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn very strongly. Look. <laughs> justice is justice is here. Judgment. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things are things are definitely changing because Cancer has been protected. Cancer has been protected. Um, you under, This person underestimated a divine feminine. That is why forgiveness is needed and there's incoming news. Yeah, 11-11 confirmation. Don't tell me no. Will you give me a chance? Don't tell me no. You have a soul contract here with this person. Um, which, who, who is a twin flame? Who is a twin flame? Divinely protected. That is so interesting, Cancer. Memory, Six of Cups, thinking about you. Memory, yeah, they're thinking about you. It's called Karma, Virgo, and Sagittarius. This person may have these two, Virgo and Sagittarius. I was going to say Chastity. I was just going to channel a name, Chastity. So someone may be dealing with somebody whose name is Chastity. However, the name Chastity is is to chast chastise somebody. Chastity is like a spell, no? Like when you put some a spell on somebody... So blessing on the way, we have Aries, 
Let me know in the comments if I'm correct, because I believe that name, which is an, not, not a, it's not an, a usual name. It's quite an uncommon name. Chastity. Just got chills on my left, so that is confirmation. That is confirmation. Someone's name may be Chastity. Or someone has been Chast... Chast I don't know. I can't pronounce that. I'd get something like that. When you chat Chastity, it's like putting a spell on somebody. Past life soulmates. No one compares to you. Very soon. Karmic justice. <laughs> just, I mean, karmic justice for the emperor. Karmic justice for the emperor. You know what? The skills are in your favor. Okay, their skills are in your favor. We've been seeing this justice energy for Cancer so much in the readings. And this lunar eclipse, I feel like, may just have something to do with it, Cancer. Look at what's showing here. I stay up at night thinking of you. And then look, reconciliation. I have reconciliation. The outcome in this situation is favorable for you. Let's look at, these, at this card. I have a feeling this is something here. This is in the reverse. X, she knows, in the reverse. So there, there was a third party here that didn't know. But now she does. If somebody here did not know, this karmic situation here, um, there's there's awareness now. I don't know why this this is should this card could was was calling at me and it showed in the reverse. She knows. Take the message how that whatever however it resonates for you. It's it's showing in the reverse. So somebody knows now. Somebody knows something now, okay? And I feel like it's a feminine. Give me one more energy. The outcome here is favorable because there's justice and there's karma here for you. Give me one more energy. Okay, when you feel my energy, it's because I'm thinking of you. I said it. This person's pulling on your energy. I think I channeled that in the very beginning of the reading. Forgiveness is needed. There's passion. Can we talk? So, Cancer, that is what I have for you for to, for now. Okay, I may be back very soon. Um, let me know if the reading resonated with you, Cancer. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so. It really does help the channel and it helps me continue to do the messages for you guys, which I love to do. So let me know if this resonated in the comments section. I love you guys. I'll be back soon with another reading. Until then, namaste.